Over a year and a half ago, I uploaded this video where I spent 100,000 Robux on advertising for my new game and showed you how much it had made within the first three days. And I have received so many requests for an update, so here we are 19 months later and I'm going to be revealing how much Robux that game has made. So here I am on Roblox, this is my profile right here, we're going to go over to creations and this is the game. Now it has zero people active, it is safe to say that the game died out very quick. It is store simulator, if you would like to play it, I'll leave a link in the description. So the last update I did was in 2022, midway through, um, was that July? I don't know what the update was, uh, but I created it in February 2021. Well, I say created it, it was just a base plate, and then I released it in September, or was it just before? Was it August? I can't remember. I think it was August, and then I published that video on like the 1st of September, and I showed you the revenue for the first three days, which after all of the, the Roblox tax, came to about 14,000 Robux, which, you know, first three days isn't bad, but you have got to consider that we spent 100,000 on advertising. Now, this game is not the best. I made it very quickly because I just wanted to learn. I just wanted to make a Roblox game. Same with my advertising strategy. I put no thought into it. It was for a video. I thought it'd be fun. And it was. The video's got nearly 300,000 views, which we've got to take into account when we look at the losses. It is very hard, actually, to calculate how much robux the game has made it used to be so much easier but the new creator dashboard is just terrible um, so the first thing that we'll check out is these game passes now i do already know the numbers but i'll calculate them here just to make sure i haven't made any mistakes so we have five game passes that are on sale our cheapest one is 75 and our most expensive one the vip is 499 robux now, if we click on each one and go to sales we can see the total sales and uh, how much it sells for we also get to see the price after Roblox take their cut, but I'm going to calculate the, the total prices and then we'll take the cut at the end just to see how big of a jump it is. But we only actually sold seven of these. This is the cylinder pet, a very cute thing in the game. Uh, you should definitely go on the game and buy yourself a cylinder pet. But let's pull up a calculator right here so you guys can check my calculations for me. So we're going to do seven times 299. And this game pass here made us 2,093 Robux for that first one here. And then we'll move on to the VIP one, I believe, was next. And this one sold 20. Again, as you can see, last seven days, I mean 20, of course, this is over uh, 19 months. So 20 is, you know, about one sold per month. But uh, nobody's bought them recently because the game did die out quite quickly, as I established. Did only sell 20, but for 500 Robux... Uh, still going to come out to quite a lot here. There we go. That one made us 9,980. And then after that, we have the two times speed one, which actually sold 34. I don't know if that one's just because it's cheaper. That's quite interesting. Yeah, this one's quite interesting that it sold 34 because it doesn't age you much in the game, whereas the pet, uh, it helps you get more money. So it's interesting. I wonder if that's just because it's cheaper. I guess we'll have a look here. Two times money. So that one sold 16 at 399. 6,384 for that one. And then our last game pass is the Cell Teleport, which actually sold quite well. It got 77 at 75 Robux. 5,775 for those. Which brings our total, I've already calculated it, uh, but I'll write it out on the calculator so you can look at the number. Game Pass sales gives us 27,598 Robux. Now, of course, we don't get all of that, but we'll take the, the Robux cut away at the end. Now, in the previous video, I calculated 12,412 Robux for the Game Passes. But then again, that was only in the first three days. So it's taken us 19 months to just over double what we did in the first three days because we had that advertisement rolling. But of course, that isn't the only way we can make sales. Now, the next one is through developer products. Now, this one was very difficult to calculate uh, because for some reason, you can only go back a couple months on developer products and considering we wanna go back to about August, 2021, we don't get to see all of the data. So what I actually had to do is I had to open up Roblox and download my sales data as a CSV 
and then I had to um, go into, so I downloaded them, open them up in Excel, and I had to sort them by developer products for the game, and then I just uh, added up the column totals. So I did this for the first three months because after then it was only about 100 each and I started to notice a pattern. So this is a bit of a, a random number. So last time I had about 8,000. This time I think it's around 10 to 15,000 in total. So again, we've about double dip. It's taken us 19 months to double what we did in the first three days. But still 10 to 15,000 is quite good. So I'm going to use 15,000 in our final total because I want to be optimistic here. And I want it to hurt me much less when I realise how much Robux we did waste. And the next way in which the game made money was through premium payouts. Now again, similar to dev products, this one was really hard to get an accurate number because we couldn't go back too far. So I've had to come up with a formula. So what I've done is I've gone over my last couple months statistics and worked out for the last few months there's been about 900 players um, on the game of which about a third of those were premium players. That comes out to about 270. And then each month I've been paid on average about 100 Robux in premium payouts. So if we're doing Robux per player, we will do 100 divided by 270, which gives us this number here, 0 0.370 recurring Robux per premium player. So that's per premium player. So if we want it per player, and we have to times that by 0.3 again. So this is how much Robux we got per player. So it's 0.1 recurring. So if we times this by 52,800, we should get our total premium payouts. What comes out to about 5,866. Roblox will not pay us out this decimal number. So we'll round it down to 5,866 from premium payouts. I don't know how accurate this is. This is just a, a rough guess. It could be way more. It could be way less. Um, but this is going to be my guess is about 6,000. And then we have one final way that we earned Roblox on here. And it was actually through sales. So we had shirt sales on this game. We sold this teal and black store simulator hoodie. Again, this new creator studio is absolutely disgraceful. I'm not going to lie. I'm trying to find out how many I sold. Couldn't work it out. Had to actually use a script on Roblox Studio just to find out how many I'd sold. It worked out to only about 200 Robux. But still, you know, it's a little bit extra for these uh, nice little hoodies that we made. So while we're at it, I haven't actually checked out the game in quite a while. Let me make sure that it is actually still working. And then we'll discuss the total for this video. Take out the Roblox cut. See how much we made. See how much of a loss or possible game we made. Feel as if it's definitely going to be a loss though. So here is the game. I've got my little pet here. Here we've got the shop. Just to show you guys how most of these items were sold and purchased these dev products. And we sold about 200 Robux in these and about nearly 30,000 in these game passes. Let us calculate our final totals and see how much Robux we have made after a year and a half of the game being out. And now it is time to see how much we have made. So starting off with game passes, we had 27,598 added on with our 15,000 from dev products, as well as our 5,866 from premium. And then of course our 200 from shirts brings us to a total of 48,664, which is a big loss, but it gets even worse because we don't get that. Roblox takes their 30%. We get 70% of that, so we'll times it by 0.7. And this is how much Robux the game has made. 34,064. So if we divide this by 19 as well, we can work out how much it's made per month. So the game has made just under uh, 1.8 thousand Robux per month. Of course, it will be more positively skewed towards when it was released though. So if we minus the... 14,366, I believe it was, from the previous video... We have made 19,698.8 Robux. So in the last year and a half, we've only made 5,000 more Robux than the total that we made within the first three days. Now, multiple factors caused this, such as the advert, of course, was only ran for those three days. And then as well, there's a bit of an issue with the leaderboard system and the pricing for money. The leaderboards got way too big to the point where it was crashing people's scores. So I had to lower 
um, the amount of money that you earn from the items, what then means people couldn't get on the leaderboards. So then people stopped playing the game and you know, the game was a little bit rushed upon release. So there's a lot of factors that affected this game, meaning that we did make a big loss. So if we just calculate this loss right here, so if we do 100,000 minus 34,064 again, this is rough, but I'm, I feel as if this is probably accurate. We have lost nearly 66,000 Robux. Now there is an upside to this in that the fact that the video that I made uh, where I spent the 100,000 Robux has 300,000 views, which is amazing, especially for this channel. This channel now has over 2,000 subscribers. It had about 200 before I uploaded that video. So I'd guess the majority of those came from that video and the video got lots of views. It's also monetized, but it has not been monetized for long. There is a strong argument that you could make that that 65,000 is possibly worth it because of how well the video did. But anyway, guys, that is the end of this video. What did you think of it? Was it worth it? Should I do this again? If you'd like to find out where I got most of my Robux from, it's actually from another game. It was a free player obby race, which I put no money in into advertising. No 100,000 was spent on that. And yet it has made me like nearly a million Robux in total. So if you'd like to see a video on that one and how I did that, leave a like and comment down below. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.